You okay, guys? Um, just going to get everyone started into the session. So if you can get yourselves ready, that would be awesome. Perfect. Cool, so we've got a few more people coming into the session now, which is good. Cool, let's get started. Okay, so welcome everyone to today's core session. I hope you can hear me. Um, so a little bit about the structure of today's session. So it's a lovely day. Sun is shining, a few clouds, so hopefully we'll be all good outside today. Um, right, what to expect, okay? We're going to start off with a nice warm-up, okay? So getting the blood flowing, getting the joints moving, okay? Once we've done that, we're going to start off with some strength work, okay? So if you have got this available, uh, I'm going to use a weighted vest, okay? If you haven't got a weighted vest, maybe use a little bit of time to prepare, maybe... You know, if you've got a very small weight or you've got potentially a bag that you can fill with a few bottles of water, that'd be really cool, okay? Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to go nice, nice warm-up, strength work, then go into some mobility flow work, um, and then we'll do some other stuff with the core as well, okay? So we're going to start off, uh, to begin the session, we're going to start with some squats, okay? So we're going to do two squats, two press-ups, two lunges, so that's one each leg, and I'm going to build up to 10, okay, in increments of two repetitions. So it's two squats first for me, guys. If you've got a watch on that tracks your activity, let's put that on now. And then we're going to make a start. So I'm going to start with two squats, guys, okay? So down and off. Just get nice and loose. Two. We'll go to the lunges next because we're standing. One. Two. Two into a press-up position, just two reps, you can go to the knees if you like, one, and two, okay, back to the beginning, so we're into four now, so four squats, one, two, three, Let's try and keep the back as straight as you can, four, four, four lunges, one, two, Three, four, four press ups. One, two, three, four. Brilliant. Now we're on to six, okay? Taking your time. Just trying to get lower each time now with the squat. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, focus on upright posture. Six lunges for each side. One, two, three, four, five, and then six. Nice guys, six press ups now. One, two, three, Five, six. Nice guys. On to eight. If you hit a ceiling, you want to stay at fit maybe six reps, you can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four lunges each leg. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Really good, okay? Eight press ups. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, into a standing position. The last round is 10. Taking your time, of course, don't rush. Hands forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
and 10. Okay, five lunges each leg for me, guys. One, two, three. Try and keep the body nice and upright. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10, okay, and then onto your press before me. 10 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Brilliant, guys, okay? Shake that off a little bit for me. So we're going to do a few things now. We're going to go into more sport specific movement, okay? So, this is something I've been wanting to work on a little bit with you guys. It's now linking into more sport specific movement. So, a big part of sport, if you haven't been doing much of it and going back to it, is the ability to produce force and power. And we can achieve that through, through jumping, okay? So, what we're going to do is go from here, hands on my side, I'm going to jump upwards, and I'm going to land into a nice squat position okay a shallow squat the way we can tell if we're absorbing the force from the floor is the noise coming back to us okay so if i hit the ground and it's a big thud i know i'm not absorbing the force however that means i am absorbing the force from the floor okay i'm gonna do five jumps and we're gonna slowly increase each jump as we go so the first one's gonna be a mini jump the second one which is gonna build up build up to the fifth one which is gonna be a higher jump okay good quality landing once i've done that I'm going to grab my weighted vest and I'm going to do 10 deep comfortable squats with the vest. Okay, I'm going to do two to three rounds off that. Okay, so start on hands by your side. You're going to come off and cross your chest. One, mini one. Now up. Two, three, four. Last one a bit higher. And five. Okay, so I'm working on explosive power. I take the weight, so grab my vest, I hold it here, go to that position, go 10, nice squat, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Nine and ten again. Pop the weight down. Have a little second again. We'll probably go three rounds of that because that's quite explosive. And again, if you missed out on the first part, it'll give you a bit of chance to get used to it. Okay, so I'm gonna go for another five reps. I'm a little bit more comfy in what I'm doing now. So I'm gonna start to go a little bit, a little bit higher straight away. And what you should notice is the heart rate bump should be up just from that explosive work. Okay, so five reps from here, okay, so here, up, one, two, three, four, five, okay, and as you should notice, when I'm doing that, my knees aren't collapsing in, I've got a good solid base, okay, so we're going to go again, ten reps for me, set, off we go. Two. If you haven't got a weight, guys, it's fine. Nine. Last one. Ten again. Put the weight down. If you haven't got a weight, like I said, completely fine. I'm going to go again, okay? Give yourselves a little bit of seconds to cool off of that. Shake it off a little bit. Let the heart rate settle down. The touch, and I'm going to go again, guys, okay? So it's looking for five quality reps, okay? Hands by side. Oh. One. Notice how I swing down and push up. There's my five, okay. 
Gonna go grab the vest for one more round. I'm gonna aim. Depends what. So I'll face you on this last set. So you can see what my body's doing from the front. So we're down. And we're up. Nice quality. I'm hooking the weights in front. Keep it nice and strong from the core. Good, okay. There's our three rounds done. First, now we'll a bit of a sweat there. Grab your water. And then we'll go again, guys, okay? Okay, next thing we're looking at. From here, we're going to focus lower body and upper body, okay? So, primary exercise is going to be press ups. Secondary, and we'll be standing, band around the knees. I'm gonna do a crab walk, okay? When I'm at this end of the mat, I'm gonna squat, I'm gonna push one knee out, one knee out, and crab walk it in until I get to the end. I then come back up and I repeat. So every time I go down to the end, that's one rep. So I basically go one, two, three, four, five, six reps on that, okay? The press ups is gonna be 10 reps as a target. I'm gonna go to 15 to try and get a little bit of extra work. Join me if I'm gonna go to 15 as well. Or if you go to 10 and then 5 from the knees, completely up to you. The primary is the press ups. So I'm going to start into here and then in 3, 2, I'm off, okay? 15 targets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15. Nice guys, if you hit 15 reps, brilliant work, okay? Now I'm gonna take the band, I'm gonna pop it around my knees. And then from here, I'm gonna do my crab walk six times, okay? So over here, I'm gonna squat down. Go one, two, and go sideways. Nice and steady. I come up, I go down, out, out, size that nice. So if you haven't got a band, again, need not worry. We don't need a band as such, it just adds a bit of resistance. Okay, let's fold on two to go. I'll just put that band on a little bit more, make it a bit harder. Off one more round. And band off, okay? Give the legs a bit of a shake. So what you should notice is we're doing two exercises back to back. We're just working on those exercises, okay? I'm gonna go again. And I'm gonna go for the press-ups. I'm hitting a target it's 15 reps, okay? So we need enough time for the muscles to recover. And we will repeat, okay? So let's go. So 15 good reps. Here we go. One, two, three, ten, five more for me. One, two, three, four. Five. Fantastic. We're just going to do one more set on the band. So we grab the band around the knees. And then we go again, okay? So band around the knees, and off we go. So hands forward, down, one, two, sides there. And up. Down again. I don't know what that like by you guys. It's quite warm over here. You see, sun's out. Really, really warm. Bit of a breeze though, so I hope you can hear me okay. Two more. Up. 
Last one, guys. Good, and then band off for me. Okay, so what is next, okay? So what we're looking at next, I've got my chair next to me, so I'm gonna do elevated press up. You don't have to do this, guys. Know your limitations and make sure if you do this, you've got a nice, stable chair. Maybe edge of a bed, if it's, if it's you know, in line with maybe in the area. You might want to do something to the effect of uh, a small sort of uh, leg rest, something like that. But I'm using a chair. You don't have to do this. 10 press ups off the chair. If you don't feet flat, again, you can do 10 press ups. Secondary exercise is in our downward dog position, and we're doing head to floor shoulder press, okay? And that's 10. I'm just going to adjust the screen slightly. So that is what we're aiming for, guys, okay? So, Feet on the chair for the first 10 reps, okay? Again, you don't have to do this. It's up to you. So you're here, and feet on the chair, and 10 reps, okay? So core engaged. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, feet down, try and stay onto the hands if you can. And it's head to floor 10 times from our downward dog. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, and then stand up for me. That's really the upper body pumped up there. It's a really good strengthening exercise for that upper body, okay? About 30 seconds, I'm gonna go again, one more round. And I'm gonna go into some mobility and core work, okay? Please, water, water. Super important to stay hydrated. You do get significant decreases in strength if you're not hydrated, so that's a really good point. Remember, especially when we look at return to sport, being able to stay hydrated, super, super key, okay? So we're gonna go back to our press-ups on the bench. I'm just trying to bide a bit of time here. So we're gonna go here, 10 press-ups. Ready? Off we go, core engaged. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now remember guys, always check your form. Just because you can do it doesn't mean it's perfect, okay? Go until you get getting full range of motion, your core and body is stacked and stable. Then we know we're doing some good reps, okay? Ten presses from the downward dog position. We go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. And have a stand off. Super work that, guys, if you manage to do it all. When I'm going to do some core work and mobility work, going in a standing position, okay? We're going to start standing. First and foremost, we're going to go into a deep squat, okay? When you do this, it's like I said, a mobility exercise, more than anything, okay? From the deep squat, we're going to walk our hands out into our downward dog position. From our downward dog position, we're going to alternate lunge forwards with our hands on the floor with an opener of the thoracic, back in, and that's one, okay? So we're doing all these movements, three different movements there, essentially. And then back up again, that's one. I'm gonna do three rounds of that, okay? So we're gonna start deep squat, hang out here a little bit, hands forwards. Try and get your back as upright as you can, sinking into your hips. Just hold it there. Hands down, hips high. Three. 
bring your hands forwards, left leg in front, right leg as straight as you can, open that out and hold, back down, swap legs, here, hips open, chest open, and then what we do is going to walk it back in to our squat position, sit into that squat again, hands forward, get comfy there, and again, down with dog, Hands forwards, step, again, lengthen at the back leg, chest open. Down, double leg, in, open that up. Down, last one, back into our deep squat. So hold that position, pushing these out where you can, trying to stay as upright as possible. Down with dog, hamstrings, open that up. Forwards, open to the sky. Back down, follow the foot, down, open, and down. Now, because we worked on our rotation there, we're going to continue that in our four point kneeling position, okay? So, you're going to go hands down, and all we're just going to open that thoracic, okay? So, you're going to go salute position on your hands, and just open that chest up, and down. Open that up. Swap sides. Good, then onto your knees a bit more and elbows are flat to the floor. I'm just going to do the same thing again, put elbows down. So five, one, two. Three, four, five, and then swap sides. One, two, three, four, five. Stay on your knees, but I'll face you guys. So I'm essentially saying, onto my knees, we're going to bring our hips forwards. So I'm tucking my hips under, and I'm trying to stay long through the front of my thighs. Hands on my chest. Now imagine I'm nice and stable at my pelvis. And all I'm looking to do is inhale, rotate my chest round, and then back foot. This bottom half doesn't move. Inhale. Back. So there's one, each side done. Two more. Rotate round, back through, and again round, and back through. And imagine I've got a flashlight on my chest and just trying to turn and open that flashlight. Down, one more, back down. Now the second part to that is we're gonna go hands where they were, but this time we're gonna open up the ribs to the side, left and right, okay? So I'm here, keeping the hips still. I'm pushing through my glutes, I'm opening, and I'm opening again, good. Now imagine, we're nice and warm now, so we're gonna get a lot more movement in a good way, okay? It's hard to do this when you start off really cold, Too much okay cool now from here we're going to attain a standing position i'll let you grab some water if you like and i'm going to do a little bit of work and some standing yoga poses okay the next bit to this is going to go here into our warrior pose so it's foot forwards guys and then back foot in such a position we're lunging forwards 
and have it open chest. Now, when you're opening your chest, imagine you're reaching long with your fingertips, okay? So chin in long with your fingertips. So open chest here. I'm now going to close it off to a 007 and turn in my chest to my hands. And then I'm back again. So I'm not necessarily just moving my arm, I'm actually rotating through my chest. Inhaling. Back again. One more. And over here, move feet forwards. Now I'm in this middle position. What I'm going to do is pivot. So I'm in the other direction now. So I'm here, lunging forward with the left leg this time. Inhaling, reaching that round. Back open again. Back and just one more. Back. And from here, bring our feet in a little bit. I'm going to a bit of what we'll call a sumo squat. I'm going to rest my elbows on my knees again, or just on my thighs. Now, you should really be feeling this in my legs, really. I'm just feeling the weight on the thighs. I'm going to turn my shoulder in, so dip my shoulder in, push my knee out slightly to open up my hips. I'm going to hold that there. I'm going to swap sides, turn that in again. Go again, turn that shoulder in. Go again, turn that shoulder in. And then I'm going to stand up and do some sumo squats now properly. So hands forwards, I'm going to squat down, not all the way to the floor, just hold that position, tall chest, back up. I'm just going to go for 10 of those. So it's a hip mobility exercise drill. So we're not really looking at engaging the glutes or the quads too much. Although we will, it's just learning to sit into the hips and then push back up. Three more. Last one. And ten. I'm going to spin this way. I'm going to come down into a hip stretch now, okay? So I'm kneeling down and I'm imagining we've got a bucket of water, right? We always talk about this. We're tucking the hips under and again and lengthening through the front of my hip. Your hands above head, make sure I've got relatively straight back. I'm going to lean forward, I'm going to hold this position. And I'm going to come back out with a stretch slightly and I'm going to go back through. I can edge this front foot forwards a bit more to gain more of a stretch. I'm just trying to drop through the front leg. So when my foot's based on the front leg, I'm just trying to sink into that hip. Just do one more of those. So here, drop it in. Good. Then from here, in the same way, we can bring the front foot. Hands across my chest, just lean into this hamstring, so again a bit of a stretch here. And come back out a bit. And again, lean in. Back out a bit. Just do one more of these. Again, we're at this top point, we want to feel a stretch at the front of our thigh. And again, go in. Okay, swap legs for me. So down, leg forwards. By the same principle, I'm just talking my hips under. Hey, well, get a bit of wind today. So it's here, reaching forwards. Nice stretch. So it comes with the hips. Back out. Again, tuck on the hold, that stretch. Back out. Just one more. So if you're on there. Up, hold it, and then back out. And from here, hamstring back straight or neutral. Gain the stretch. Come back out. Gain the stretch, guys. Come back out. Just do a couple more, actually. So lean it forwards again. It's all about discipline. It's not where your back's nice and neutral. 
understand where it's flat. And then come back. Okay, from here, we're going to go onto the knees. I'm going to sit to my heels, guys, and then I'm going to bring my hands behind me, bring my hips upwards, shoulders back, gain the stretch at the front of my thigh. And then after this, we're going to go on to our long sit, okay? So you're pushing through my glutes, holding that position. A couple more seconds, just to get that release. Nice, okay. So from here, we're going to grab our uh, stretchy belt. Remember, if we haven't got a belt, we can simply use um, an old jumper for, of some effect. I'm going to be from here and your foot comes in ever so slightly. I'm going to go hand, foot over the top, belt over the top rather, and I'm going to do my QL stretch. So I'm going to go grab the band, or belt, hand on the foot, chest comes open, hand over the top, okay? Nice big reach, a few deep breaths. And just let that open up for you. Come back out of it, facing forwards. Turn it around again, chest open, open up. Back out. And one more, turn that chest open. Reach, reach, reach. And then back out. I'm just going to swap sides again. So we can go here now. Foot comes in. Hold it in, chest open, and reach the other way. Find which position you're more restricted on. Back in. Again. Back in. Just one more. Come back. Fantastic. For me then. I'm going to do my upper back rotations. So I'm going to go foot over the top and rotate my mid back. Again, trying to stay as upright as I can. I'm just focused on how far around can I lead, but keeping this part of my body fixed so the lower part nice and fixed and rotate. Hold there. It's really important, like I said, these sessions, like I always ask the question, is like, how do you value a session? Okay. So if I was to do maybe like a hip session, often people value that based on I'll spin this way. Based on, can you swap legs now? Actually, yeah. Based on um, how many calories are burnt, right? That's often the, the focus of a hip session. These sessions, what you'll notice is, because you've added a little bit extra in terms of the strength work and the, the jumping, you're probably going to get a little bit more of a calorie burn, which is always a positive thing um, from a metabolic standpoint within the body makes the body work harder and then we get adaptations but also what we need to be considering is like what's our range like how are we improving what's our quality of movement like are we gaining strength in certain areas these are always things that i'm always after okay we're going to a hamstring stretch now so i'm going to get the belt and i'm going to bring it up and also what's the knock-on effect you know are we then able to have better posture throughout the day are we removing pain from our lives are we feeling more robust i think that's a really critical one that we need to assess is our level of robustness our likelihood to get injuries do drop quite significantly i find if we do you know we prepare our body really well all right so i'm gonna bring it across my body hold that rotation tight today on this one again what we need to do is associate when we do these classes what we've done the day before so have we you know uh, gone for a run any, any sporting based activities obviously we're not back in sport yet hopefully we'll be soon across our body Good, and then back on. And then what we're going to do is we're very much going to look at our long sit. So we're here, nice tall position of the body. 
12, reach, inhale, down, two, I'll look to. Hold there, and then come back out of it, guys, okay? Facing forwards now, we're just gonna do a bit of a groin stretch. So as we're here, feet come in. I think one of the things I always say, or have said, I can't really see it on, on the screen, but with me, I've always had the restriction, particularly my right hip, so this hip. So normally for me, this hip actually comes up here, okay? Mainly associated to the sport that I do, so it requires a lot of hip movement. And this hip, unfortunately, takes a bit of a beating. But through doing these classes, I think, I don't know what it looks like, but I feel I'm able to get this right leg a little bit lower. I'll have to check and look at this back because I can't really see. I don't know if it's the same as the other side, but I'm definitely feeling like I can get this right hip lower. And all I've changed is I'm not doing my sport as much and I've done a ton of this sort of work, okay? Stretching, um, core work, hip mobility work. And that's been a real big focus for me over this lockdown period is addressing weaknesses that I've had within my own body I'm trying to use this as a period to restore my body, okay? Sometimes that might be, you know, getting stronger, fitter, improving your running, whatever it is. But for me, that's been a, a nice one to work on, okay? From here, I'm going to spin forward. I'm going to do some hip rotations. So that's going to be hands forwards, okay? As I'm leaning, I'm just going to pivot wide feet, wide knees, and turn one leg in, back out. Do the other leg in, back out. Just keep repeating that. And then I'm going to go into a child's pose. But I'm going to bring my feet, modified child's pose, so I'm going to bring my feet together. I'm just going to go from here, knees nice and wide, feet together, and sit backwards, back straight. So I'm just sitting into my hip joints, gaining a really lovely stretch there. Holding it out, going back in. without a little bit of extra core work on top. So we've, we look at what we've done, we've done a ton of strength work. We've done some really good quality mobility work there, really enjoyed that. What we're gonna do is gonna do a bit of work into some plank variations and some side plank variations and some shoulder tap variations, okay? So we're gonna do a static plank for a minute. Once we're on a static plank, we're gonna go on to our side, into a side plank, and the, the knee coming up and down, we're gonna go to our left side, side plank, and back onto our front again, until our body's had a bit of a rest, and we do 20 shoulder taps and then we'll foam roll and we should fingers crossed time permitting get everything in that time okay so plan first we're going to go for a minute so we're here and off we go we're looking for hips under strong posture and looking for that nice minute there okay so just nice and stable we, we just want to make sure that this is getting nailed So just hold in for a minute. Thirty seconds gone, guys. Absolutely brilliant. Nice guys. Twenty seconds left. Fifteen left. Last turn. Three, two, one. And then rest it there. We're going to go onto our side now. And then what I'm going to do is a side plank, but I'm going to add in a knee raise. So side plank, knee comes up, and then knee comes down. You can also do just hold the normal side plank, or you can even add a side plank with leg raises. So we're going to go for 10 reps of the knee coming up. Okay, guys? Um, we're here in, proud chest, hand off. We go one. Two, three, and this is quite advanced. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back down, I'm gonna swap sides. I'm just gonna spin over this smoothly. I'm gonna go onto my other side now. So I'm here, hand off, and off we go. One, two, three. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. I'm going to come back, I'm going to finish off with some shoulder taps. So I'm going to go nice, strong, um, front lever position, shoulder tapping, 10 each side, so 20 in total. And I'm going to grab our foam roller. Remember, we didn't do that at the start, so we need to do a bit of foam rolling before we finish off. So we're here, feet wide, hands closer in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep the back nice and still. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, big workout today, guys. Okay, really, really pleased with that. Grab some water before we roll out. Let's discuss what we've covered today. So, if we look at how we've typically worked in this session, we've done at the very beginning two primary strength exercises back to back. We did about three different sets of strength exercises, then we went into our mobility. Um, core work. Then we did some stretching when the body was really, really nice and warm. And we finished off with a little bit more extra core work. For me, very full session. Um, and we also did some like sport specific jumping again. For me, I think like that is like a very, very good session in regards to doing a lot, really. You know, we've, we've covered so many areas there. And for me, I think it's taken us, you know. Obviously, we've been, you know, virtually doing these classes now for um, quite some time now, maybe like eight weeks nearly, I think, seven, eight weeks. And in that time, we've really, really developed um, some key areas. And it's now permitted us to be able to encompass it all into one session. So I'm really keen to keep the sessions going in a similar format of just, you know, covering loads of different aspects. More jumping and plyometric work more strength work so if you can if you prepare yourselves a little bit more next time maybe for um grabbing you know a vest that i've got there or obviously a bag maybe a, a light kettlebell if you have one and you're comfortable using that nothing really heavy or five kilos maximum 10 you know 10 kilos is quite heavy so five kilos something relatively moderate and light but manageable go to whatever you feel comfy with i think that goes without saying and then um, we can encompass that into our sessions a little bit more. Like I said, though, guys, that is, for me, a, a really good set, like really full session in terms of what we fitted in there. Um, and I'm keen to let it keep going. For me, though, if, you're, if, you, if you don't like that, though, just let me know and we can, we can mix it up. We can put some different work in there that you prefer, have preference to. Um, you know, if there's like one exercise that I'm not doing and you personally want that in, I'll throw it in, guys. Just let me know. As always, feedback is more than welcome. Um, I'm a big fan of, of, of feedback, good and bad, to make sure we can we can suit the session towards you guys. Um, one of the things that I'm keen to maintain we do in the future is just phone roll one time, get it done, okay? Um, I think probably towards the end of the session, I prefer sometimes because I'm a little bit warmer, I can move a bit better. Some people prefer it at the start, whatever their general sort of gist is we can do that. Um, I always find I get a little bit more on my body sometimes towards the end where the tissues want to move more. And warm up wise, you know, let me know. Um, I just stuck with a nice little pyramid set as it's called. I quite enjoy it. It gets everything moving quite well. Onto the back now, focus on the upper back, open the chest up. And onto the neck, lastly. Good. And then back up. Guys, as always, absolute pleasure. Hair, have you noticed? All gone. Um, Got to get rid of it, it's doing me head in. Um, but anyway, yeah, thanks so much. Keep up the solid work. Enjoy the rest of your week. I'll see you Thursday for the next session. Um, yeah, all the best, guys. Um, see you soon.
Speak care.